Hi, Tim Unger here, and I'm going to build a simple quiz um, in PHP. So I've uh, created a folder, and I'm using a text editor called Atom. I have the light theme installed because it's easier in my eyes. So we're going to start, and we're just going to get a regular HTML skeleton, um, which is fine. We'll save that. Right now I have it loaded up on my local machine. This is not online. Um, so anyways, uh, so now we'll start adding the uh, code. Okay, so we'll go into the body here. Um, I'm going to have to do a form first because I want uh, to get this information. So we're going to get the information from this page, quiz.php. And we're gonna, our method that we're going to use is post. Okay. And then I'll close up the form tag. Um, and I want them to be able to click a submit button at the end once they enter in their responses. So doing that will give us this. So just the submit, and none of this is styled with CSS or anything like that. Uh, it's just how to build a quiz. And we're going to have them enter uh, responses to four questions and then grade them on their response. Okay. All right. So let's start with our questions. We'll build up the form and then we'll focus on the PHP. So first question, what is two plus three? It's a tough one, okay? Uh, so we're gonna ask them that. We wanna be able to input it as a number. So I get the input as a number and we're gonna call this ANS1 for answer one, okay? Second question, what is five minus one? Another tough one. Uh, and again, it's a number. And the name is, we're going to call this ANS2 for answer two. Uh, third one, what is times eight? That's a little bit more difficult. Um, still hopefully easy for you. Uh, okay, and that's ANS3. And then the last one is going to be what is, let's see, uh, 10 divided by, now I probably could look up the code for the division symbol, but I'm not going to right now. Um, actually, I'll pause it and I'll look that up. So hold on one second. Okay, so I looked that up. And hopefully this is the correct one. So let's see. Minus one, one. Oh, come on, save. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. So we got uh, ten divided by two. So this uh, ampersand hashtag two forty seven colon is the division symbol. All right. Uh, and probably do a couple breaks here. To make it look a little nicer. Okay. Uh, again, now this isn't really CSS styled or anything like that. So I, I could enter in these responses. Uh, two plus three is five. Four. Six times eight is forty-eight. And ten divided by two is five. And I click submit query, but nothing happens. Okay. So. Um, so we need to figure out how to um, use these. And we're going to use these responses with PHP. But first, I'll, I'll say uh, click submit query. Uh, let's submit or submit query in Firefox to see your results. OK. And then we want to be able to enter this stuff in and then um, have them get uh, a grade, okay? So, and I want the grade to be uh, above the form, the, up here at the top of the page. So I'm going to start with PHP tag. Um, and You open it with um, this less than and then the uh, question mark PHP. And then you close with a question mark and then greater than symbol. 
in between these two tags you can enter in your php okay so um so what i want to do uh, i want to say if and i want to um, basically set in a condition that if they um, actually submit then i get a response otherwise say please enter in these answers uh, so okay so i'm going to put a condition here so if uh, post any part of the post is not empty then we're going to start to grade okay and then if the post is empty we will say something like please take the quiz or something along those lines the that part you can figure out in your own um okay so uh so if the post is not empty we're going to we want to get a variable and i'm going to call the variable um correct uh, and we'll set it initially equal to zero and so then i'm going to nest in another condition i'm going to say if and we have to create some other variables here so i'm going to have to do uh, answer one and we'll just uh, get that from the post method um, and we'll copy in those so we got to take in the responses and i'm just going to fix these Two, two, and three, and three, and then four, 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 and four. So let's say, so if our answer one, uh, if that equals, uh, let's see, what was our question? Five, uh, then what we're gonna do is we're going to add one to the correct so i'm going to write that correct and then just a plus plus okay um and then we'll say else um uh we don't add anything so we just say we don't really do anything so okay um maybe we could print something like let's see well, maybe we could echo uh, you can't echo <laughs> this might be a little bit of a cruel quiz um, anyways all right so next one um we'll go with the next condition so uh if answer two equals um let's see we have five minus one so so if answer two equals four we're going to add another one to the number correct um or say uh you can't subtract Okay, um, then maybe we could be nicer and say, uh, you probably need more practice. All right, so let's say if answer three, um, if answer three is 48, um, then we're gonna add another one to the number correct. Okay, uh, otherwise, let's say, um, Uh, otherwise what we will say what is this multiplication you can't multiply okay and then uh, the last one we'll check uh, if answer four equals let's see what was my question um, what is 10 divided by 2 so if answer 4 equals 5 then we add another one to the correct 
okay, and then otherwise, you can't divide. Okay, and then, all right, so um, now what we want to do, um, so we've got those responses. Uh, we're also going to say, echo, um, say you got uh, however many correct, correct. Um, all right. And then maybe we can say, um, let's see, what else could we say? We could say, um, we could give them a, a grade. So we could say the grade equals the number correct. The number correct divided by four, and then we'll do times 100. So to give them a percentage. Um, okay, and then we'll say, we can do some things like, um, comment on their grade so we could say if uh, correct is uh, equals zero uh, we'll say we'll say we'll say what will we say you are dumb now <laughs> This is a really bad <laughs> quiz. We shouldn't be saying this. We shouldn't be this night because it could be a, a two-year-old taking the quiz or someone who's just really bad at math. Um, all right, so say if correct uh, is, or no, sorry, we're going to do an else, else if, else if uh, the correct uh, equals one, we'll be a little bit nicer with this one. We'll say you need to really, really work on this. <laughs> we're, we're still not that nice. All right, let's do another else if. Uh, we could do this with uh, cases and breaks, but I'm just doing it this way. Troll me later if you want. Um, all right, so. If the correct is equal to two, we can say, um, you really need to work on this. Uh, uh, all right, do another else if. Uh, so if correct equals three um, we're gonna say you did okay all right and then finally uh, the only other condition is if they're all correct so we'll say uh, great job great job you aced it now, we probably shouldn't be this cruel because, again, someone could be bad in mathematics. So we're going to save that, and let's see what we've got so far. Okay. Ah, and we got some warnings, so I made some mistakes. And I do that. So let's see, 9, 10. Hmm. Okay, let me just check. Okay, so I was looking this over and I did make a mistake. Um, a couple things I, I noticed. Uh, so, um, one, I want to put the little single quotes around there. So that was where the error was coming from. I also think I will put this in. So if uh, the post isn't empty, then I set these equal. Um, 
and then I set correct equal to zero to start. Okay. So now that I've uh, done that and saved it, okay, so now I have my quiz. So I can go through and I can go, well, what's two plus three? It's five. What's five minus one is four. What is six times eight? It's 48. And what is 10 divided by two? Well, that's five. I submit and it says, you got four correct. Great job. You wasted. it. Okay. So let's get this wrong. We'll say that's four. This is also four. This is 48. And this is five. All right. So as you can't add, you got three to correct. You did okay. Okay, so it gives back the results. Um, all right, so uh, now I could have, I could make this so these don't show up after you take it, but I, I, I want to keep those. And if I was going to do that, I would probably put the form uh, in my uh, PHP down here. So I would echo each of these lines uh, out and do it that way. Um, okay, but right now I'm just testing it out. So let's see. So, um, okay, so we got, you can't add. All right, well, let's say if we figure out how to add, but then we forget how to subtract. That's three, eight, divided by two, five. Okay, so you can't subtract. Okay, uh, let's, let's get this one wrong and this one wrong. Oh, that was right. That's early in the morning. Uh, and then get these two right. And so it said, you can't add, you can't subtract, you got two correct, you really need to work on arithmetic. Okay, so it's giving us some feedback. Let's uh, keep going and getting some wrong. Four or three, we'll say this is uh, five and then this is five. Okay, so you can't add, you can't subtract, you can't multiply, you got one correct. You, really, you need to really, really work on arithmetic. And then let's just get them all wrong. Okay, you can't do any of these. You got zero correct. You are dumb. You see, this is a mean quiz. Okay. Anyway, so that is the gist on how to make a, a math quiz using PHP. Uh, if you do have any questions, I'm sure there's some things I missed. Um, please leave questions in the comments. Um, and then, or you can also, if you'd like to troll me in the comments. Tell me my technique is incorrect or it would be better if I did this. That's fine, too. Uh, just be somewhat nice and use some constructive criticism. All right. Uh, thank you for viewing this video, and I hope it helps. Bye.